not seen anything like this come through my office before. District Attorney Dan Rubenstein talked us through a grand jury indictment that took around two months related to allegations of election equipment tampering and official misconduct from the Mesa County clerk and deputy clerk. I believe my community um, has confidence in me that this is not politically motivated and is simply motivated by the facts. Arrest warrants for both Tina Peters and Belinda Nisley show a slew of charges. Peters facing 10 counts, Nisley has six counts. The most serious charges, those class four felonies for attempting to influence a public servant. The maximum sentence for those could be six years. It is not a mandatory sentence crime, meaning that the judge could, uh, if she's found guilty, impose anything from probation up to prison. In August of last year, the Secretary of State's office found out confidential pictures of Mesa County's Dominion Voting Systems equipment and passwords had been posted online. We believe we know who leaked the passwords, who is actually filming them. Uh, that is not part of any of our charges. It's not necessary for our charges, but we do believe we know who did that. To understand what prosecutors say happened, we need to go back to April 2021, when they say Peters and Nisley devised a deceptive scheme that set all this in motion. Go to May 14th. Peters apparently asked to create a login and email address for a man named Gerald Wood, saying he worked for the state. But later in the indictment, it says Wood was never employed by the state or hired by Mesa County. A few days later, Nisley says he'll be the third member of the county's staff present during the upgrade of election software. Then on the 23rd and 25th, during the upgrade, Peters introduced a person she said was Wood to other employees. But the real Wood told the grand jury he wasn't there and had already turned his access badge back in, meaning someone else must have used it. Do we know who that person that was in the room posing as Gerald Wood, who that is? I can't comment on that right now. We tried calling Wood, but no answer. Peters is still running for Secretary of State, a position currently filled by Jenna Griswold. The indictment does not preclude a person from candidacy in Colorado, and that's the phase we're in right now. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.